Hey guys, this is Kiki from Metal and High Heels and I'm sitting here with Maxi Neal from Jaded Star. How are you doing today? Hello! It's been a long day, but it's, it's definitely worth it. I mean, uh, we're in Bochum. Mm -hmm. um, we just finished the show, so sorry if I look like sweaty and all, but... Uh, we're having a great time and this tour has been great for us so far. Yeah, um, how's the reception? How are the fans? so enthusiastic and I'm so 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 grateful to this I mean you know we're, we're the support act but they make a little soul feel very special and yeah I really want to do this again and again and again <laughs> <laughs> we just saw a lot of people were rushing to the merch stand really um, yeah <laughs> so that's right. a good feedback already yes it is because uh, as you may already know bands are we don't make money from from uh, from anything else but from our merch especially the ones that are supporting and we're not getting any fee so yeah selling merch is good <laughs> <laughs> how was um, how is the album going uh, well our label says that it's going pretty pretty well the sales good yes the sales are really good the pre-sales were also very good and uh, this is our second European tour the first one was like two months ago with a uh, moon spell and yeah, we're selling good. The sales are good stuff. That's great. Are you already working on the next? Yes, yes, we are. Uh, we have some ideas because we are planning to uh, release the new album beginning of 17. Mm -hmm. It would be good. Just do now some festivals and maybe some shows and then get in the studio to work for the next album. But the songs are already uh, They're written, getting in shape. Starting. Yes, oh. they're getting in shape. That's great. Uh, do you get some songwriting done on the tour? No, there is no time, man, really, really, it's, it's crazy uh, because we don't have so much crew with us this mm -hmm. time and we have to do so many stuff by ourselves. So it's like, yeah, when we, after everything and after we pack, after the show, uh, maybe we just hang with the guitar like here at the, you know, the backstage, just singing cover songs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the music is always part of this, of, of the tour. But songwriting this time was not possible. Well, we're still on the middle of the tour, though. We yeah. still have uh, like nine shows left, so you never know. <laughs> you never know. Any specific cover you are seeing these days? Oh my God, you don't want to know. I mean, uh, yesterday, last night, we had like a 90s night. <laughs> and you could hear all this pop, really cool, though, stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah. I don't really know what to say because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> oh, tell us. Yeah, What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> my guilty pleasure? I have so many of them. It's like Take That. Uh, it's like Lady Gaga, Madonna. Well, they're not like so guilty. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any uh, tour rituals you do before you go on stage with a band? Well, uh, the thing that we all do is like super hug very tight, like feel the energy coming. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking like five minutes alone just to focus only on, on what it has to be done. Mm -hmm. But not something really special. I mean, uh, we're a rock band. We are like doing what we feel. Every time is different. <laughs> okay. Do you have any um, routines for staying healthy on tour? Huh. I should have, but this tour is a complete disaster <laughs> because we drink a lot on this tour. <laughs> but in general, um, yeah, uh, what is, what's the name? Ginger, yeah. Every day I'm having like hot water with ginger and honey. Mm -hmm. This is very, very important for all the singers out there, really, it helps a lot. Like having three, four cups a day, boiling water, ginger and, uh, and honey. I have my amazing vocal zone. This, uh, these are pastilles from the uh, UK. They're really amazing and I suggest them to every singer or actor or whoever uses his voice that much. Uh, not that much smoking, it mm -hmm. would be awesome. But uh, good meals and that's it. Most of the times so it would be nice to be able to have some you know, physical exercise but there is no time. Yeah. No time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, tell us a little bit about the artwork of your album. Well, this album was made um, 
with a lot of love and very and a lot of friends took part of this. Um, one of them is Lila. Lila Belivanaki is the the artist mm -hmm. of the booklet and the and the cover. She was like inspired. We liked it to be like super handmade, and you could see that it's handmade, mm -hmm. uh, not digital, n nothing. Um, and it's actually our story, the story of the band. If, uh, if you seen the um, uh, the, the teaser of, of the album, it's like it explains how we left from Earth and then we came back. Mm -hmm. And she explains in the booklet all the story. And it's really, really, it's like a comic. Uh -huh. uh, yes, and like very, very much. And we're really looking forward to work with her again. Cool. Where did you uh, get the, the inspiration for? the theme of the album, the themes of the album? Actually, the whole album is like my personal diary. Okay. Uh, it's like stories of my life, my, my thoughts, my insecurities, my happiness, my sadness, everything. It's, if you read the lyrics, you will get to know me pretty well. <laughs> we also felt there was a little bit of um, criticism to society in it. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's always <laughs> criticism society. We're rebels, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, especially the song uh, "Wake Up." Mm -hmm. It's like, wake up, really, wake up, people. There is no much time. Life is too short, and the world around us doesn't help us that much. Mm -hmm. So we have to do what we do by ourselves. That's From the true. strength within. That is true. And talking about um, society and stuff, um, have you seen uh, in in Greece, in your home country, have you seen the um, the music industry be affected by the economy? Yeah, of course. Everything is affected. Our everyday lives is affected. But we are lucky. In, in which in ways have you seen these changes lately? Uh, Sale-wise, of course. Uh, also, when you people think about going to concerts it's really difficult but we are fortunate enough to be able to travel out of Greece to make our dream come true because yeah it's, things are really really hard there and I really hope to get this over with really soon because mm -hmm. but on the on the times of crisis many ideas are born yeah it's always like this uh, even in the war it, it's always you get to uh, to be more creative than usual mm -hmm. maybe it's the, the human need yeah yeah could be in the time in difficult times you just want to do something a revelation or, yeah yeah so that has also motivated you and inspired yes, of you of course of course <laughs> Good. Um, do you have a day job still no you're working on the music full time. I'm working on the music. I'm uh, working on my uh, art. I make crafts. I paint. I have this uh, Patreon profile mm -hmm. so that people can support me financially. Well, uh, to be so that I be able to to do my art mm -hmm. only and live by it. Uh, it's not the, the easiest thing to do, but I don't know. I mean, I tried. I worked uh, many years different jobs and I was so depressed and I was so unhappy and I could I don't want this in my life really I just I mean the most important thing in life is to be healthy and happy it is so fuck this shit <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll Sorry, eh, <laughs> that's all right um, how is it for the other for the guys for the other band members do they have day jobs how do you combine well they're all musicians our guitar player is a teacher of guitar. Our drummer has a drum school, and our bass player has a studio. Uh, so they're all day, every day, you know, busy with music. Okay, and music. this is yes, and this is also very good and healthy for them, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's that's good. That's <laughs> really good. So let us uh, take a look into your makeup bag. Oh my god, it's a mess. <laughs> Show us what are your essentials. Listen. I have also that bomb over there and I'm gonna bring it, you know. From my makeup case, you will find always 
a purple lipstick. Always, man. Do you keep that um, for every day too in your? Yes, I do. In your handbag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. I just. <laughs> I'm like a carnival. <laughs> That's your uh, signature. Yes. Uh, always glitter. Always, always, all over the place. Like silver, like white, like purple. Mascara. Always mascara. You cannot leave. Oh, but that. that's not purple. No, the mascara is always <laughs> black. The mascara is always black. And uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Foundation? Yes. Eyelash glue. Uh, pink eyeshadow. <laughs> Silver eyeshadow. Purple eyeshadow. How long does it take you to um, get your makeup for, uh, for the stage? Now, it takes me like 20 minutes or 25 because I've learned to be fast. Uh, back in the days, it would take me like one and a half hours wow. because only to put my eyelashes was a pain in the ass. <laughs> but now I just do it very, very quickly and easily. Another glitter, another purple one. And oh, for yeah. every day, how do you, what's your everyday look? Uh, mostly it's like uh, mascara always, some... Uh, blush and a lipstick and you know, that's it or if I just wanna go more I like an evening out I I always have a eyeliner mm -hmm. yeah but I don't do the fake lashes that yeah. much yeah, it's <laughs> too much trouble <laughs> looks good though <laughs> yes always always it does look good do you have any beauty tips or some kind of health care or beauty care that you do all the time? Drink a lot of water. It's so important and I just figured this out a couple of years ago because I was not a water drinker. I was mm -hmm. always eh. But <laughs> no, like as much water as you can. Uh, I'm using uh, like a day cream and night cream made of aloe. Mm -hmm. And it's been amazing so far, really. And take beauty sleeps like really as many as possible but yeah i think that water and yeah and sleeping is the best you can do for all your organism and especially you can shout and on the face yeah that's yeah. true the energy yeah. so you had another bag you wanted to show oh us the pink one <laughs> well thank god it's almost empty because once i pull everything out it's like this. So this is the accessory bag. This is the accessory bag. I like that ring. That's really yeah. cool. I like it too. And I like that Well, that one's also really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I have those and this. And I also have this. Mm -hmm. And I have also, this is my leather butterfly one. Nice. Yeah. It's made by Morgan and Art. She, she's a friend of mine. She lives here in Bochum. Mm -hmm. She's Greek though, and she makes everything handmade out of leather, and it's really, really That's beautiful. Nice. This is another color that I love to wear, mm -hmm. and this is one of my favorites, actually. But it's not for stage, because I'm going to kill myself if I wear it on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a headband, and we're done. Well, it's like something like this, yeah, and it goes like here, because mm -hmm. you cannot go live with it. Really this. cool. And the last one that I'm going to show you is like, I have this bolero out of chains. Oh, for your shoulders? Yes, oh, bolero, that's really yeah. nice. Yeah, it goes something like this. You see, when you wear it, it's really cool. This is, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a Queen of Darkness. Uh-huh. Yeah. From UK. And it's really, really good one. <laughs> That's well, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your secrets with us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being so polite. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to say to your fans? I want to send them my love. My, my real, really from deep within, my love. And thank you for the support. It means the world to, to us all, to the band. Uh, we're not going to let you down. Uh, and as always, be true to yourselves and to the ones you love. Thank you so much. Thank you.